Now, I'm not one to spend much time at high altitudes, but I do have a place in my heart for Rockfall. Its ancient castles represent a bygone age when aristocracy literally sat atop the world, looking down on all the peasants below. Jumbo Medical Solutions have got a new drug on the market that reduces stress and anxiety by 99%. Unfortunately, the debt you'll go into to afford it will raise them by 99.1%. Can't argue with numbers, man. Thank you. 
Leslie called in just now to tell me about her supernatural experience. She was sitting in her flat in sweaty palms when the furniture started to move all by itself. Angry poltergeist or just another sweaty palms earthquake? Guess we'll never know. Yeah. 
wanted in fluid analysis. some exciting paranormal or at least not quite normal news, there's been reports of a giant squid being seen just off the coast in Hogsport. If you're planning to join the squid stakeout party planned for tomorrow, just remember that all the things that live in the sea can be dangerous.
tolerated. Anywhere in the hospital will not be tolerated. Mortimer, you've just won another Grand Point Final! How do you do it? Well, I couldn't do it without my cheesy gubbins. Cheesy gubbins! Cheesy gubbins, the answer to every question. More Two Point, more often. This is Two Point Radio. describe his paranormal encounter. He was lying drunk in a gutter when he saw a bright light. Alien abduction or a street lamp? We'll never know. Let me know if you've had any spooky experiences of your own.
Had a call from Fred and Blyton, who says his shed is haunted. He hears strange noises there every night. He's thinking he should stop storing all his cheese in there. What do you think? Remember, if you've had a supernatural encounter, let me know. This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. A warm welcome once again. I'm Ricky Hawthorne and you're listening to Two Point Radio. We're going to start today's show with a lively number.
There's a lot of negativity out there these days, so I'm starting a new segment called The Best Thing About My Town. So, wherever you are in Two Point County, I want you to call in and tell me what's the best thing about your town. Can't wait to hear from you.
Try Moose Juice. The healthiest drink on the market. Wow! Only the finest organic mousses. Make it into our juices. Moose Juice. More Two Point. More often. This is Two Point Radio. Thank you. 
we've been inundated with calls for our new segment, The Best Thing About My Town. Sandy Bottom says the best thing about fluttering is its ancient castle, where the ghosts of ancient kings and queens come out and dance every night. You're not one, Sandy, but it takes all sorts. Another heartwarming call from a listener in Flemington this time. Jarvis Top Shelf, who says, The best thing about my town is how nobody can afford to live here unless they're very, very rich. Now, how's that for honesty? Marvellous.
The dashing Roderick Cushion, star of the perilous spandex films, was seen doing a bit of publicity down at a local hospital today. I'm sorry, did I say publicity? I meant charity, of course. I asked all you dear listeners to get in touch and tell us what the best thing about your town is. Well, Kelly and Ian says what she likes most about smogly is how the thick chemical haze protects her from the harmful rays of the sun. That's the spirit, Kelly.
toilets as you would hope to find them, not as you would expect to find them. Burger are proud to introduce our new flying sauces. Made with a secret mixture of lighter than air, gravity defying spices. Try our new flying sauces. They're out of this world!
24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. The latest listener to call in and tell us about the best thing about their town is Andy Puddington, who lives in Sweaty Palms. What he likes most, he says, is the way the furniture rearranges itself after every earthquake. No need to redecorate there.
questions, first ask yourself why that might be. And it's time for another listener to tell us about what the best thing about their town is. Sandra Krablik called in from Rotting Hill to say it's not got much going for it, but at least it has an honest name. That's what we like to hear, Sandra. Always look on the bright side.
It's always lovely to hear from you people out there, especially when it's to tell us the best thing about your town. Buddy called in to say the best thing about the meltdowns are the strange three-eyed animals that have escaped the labs of Bungle Technologies. If you'd like to see some frogs, there's no better place than Pebbly Frog Sanctuary. A few different types of frog are only a plane or boat journey away. Let's go! So hop on over for a riveting day at Pebbly Frog Sanctuary. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio.
Todd Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio. Hello there. I know what you're thinking. You're not Harrison Wolf, and you're right. I'm not. It's me, Ricky Hawthorne. I'm afraid that Mr. Wolf isn't here today. It's all very mysterious. <laughs> so instead, we're going to play you an old show from the archives. This one's actually from Harrison's first year at the station. If I could remember it, I'm sure it'd feel like yesterday.
You're listening to Two Point Radio. This is Harrison Wolf. I'm excited to announce that next week I'll be talking to up and coming politician Tabitha Winsock about some of the great plans she has for the county's future. Here's some music from the time it is now. Doctor, 
After four rudderless years, Two Point County has never been in greater need of strong leadership. So vote for four more years of Tabitha Winsock in the mayoral elections. Tabitha Winsock, wrong but stable. Serving Two Point County, this is Two Point Radio. I want to use my platform to spotlight a new local product. They're called Cheesy Gubbins, and they're made by a little company from right here in Two Point County. I just can't get enough of them. Mm -hmm. Tell your friends. Everyone should know about them. Again, that's Cheesy Gubbins. Man, I might just go and have some now. Good patience, please use the toilets provided. Find them. 
and Wolf on Two Point Radio. It's me again, Ricky Hawthorne. I hope you're enjoying some vintage Wolf here on Two Point Radio. Unfortunately, we've lost a segment from the show, so instead, you've got me buying time until the next segment. Yep, that should do it. We're sorry for the letter that you dropped. Janitor to repair cryomatic. <laughs> 
answer was water resistant bassoon. I'm hoping to make fun trivia like that a regular part of my show. If you enjoyed it, get in touch to let us know by writing a letter or using a phone with one of those rotary dials that we still have at the moment.
went to see that new film Perilous Spandex the other day. It was a fun time. Go check it out if the mood strikes. Hope they don't ruin it with an unnecessary sequel. Uh, I'm sure they won't. They said he was too old. They said he looked ridiculous. But when the world needs a hero, a hero must put on his spandex. This summer, Roderick Cushion returns as Perilous Spandex in Perilous Spandex 5, a stretch too far. This is Two Point Radio.
That's all for this throwback entry of Two Point Radio. Isn't it amazing just how little has changed since then? I'd have believed he was in today. I've not been Harrison Wolf. Good day. Doctor to reanimation. Needed in Deluxe Clinic. 
listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Good morning, Two Point County. I hope you slept well. Sleep. We all need it, don't we? But sometimes it's interrupted by police helicopters, randy badges, or the weird and wonderful of our own minds. Recently troubled by a fever, I had a fantastically strange dream. Yes, very strange indeed. What a strange dream. Here is my dream. I woke to find myself in an incredibly sophisticated environment, all chrome plating and flashing lights. I was suspicious from the offset, but it was when I couldn't hear the lullaby of the ring road that I knew I was no longer in my home. I had never felt so far from everything I knew, and I cried the tears of a man lost in the loneliness of his lonesomeness. Although I wasn't alone for long.
This is a recurring dream sent in by Gretchen and Hootenanny. I'm trapped in an enormous birdcage and sitting on Grandfather's armchair. I don't have much time left to finish my exam, but my pen is across the room frozen in yogurt. Laughing at me and my aspirations, it seems to say, I'm the king of the castle and you, you are a dirty rascal. More <laughs> talking pens. Now that's a classic. Roach Burger's first drive through has opened in Crockle Bay. Now you can order your extra crunchy burgers without leaving the comfort of your car. And remember, order more than 10 Roach Burgers and get a free road shake. Roach, Roach Burgers! 
24 hours a day. This is Two, two Point Radio. Announcement Bins will become full. This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Back to my dream. Where was I? <laughs> ah, yes. I was joined by beings that took a series of different forms. I found their presence extremely stabilizing. They took me through a series of tasks and tests with minimal communication. At some point, I believe I was given a snack. When they were done with me, everything changed. Back to that cliff edge later in the show.
as you would hope to find them, not as you would expect to find them. This dreams from Archibald B. Bladder, who says, Standing in a dark, cavernous room, a tall chimp in a ball gown tells me that I'd like some tea. They smile and leave the room astride a small steam train. I wave them off with a hanky that I find in my mouth. Thanks for that, Archie. What a belter!
The hospitals up in the Pointy Mountains better watch out. We're getting news reports of a violent hailstorm in the area, and those paper-thin hospital roofs could be in trouble. On the other hand, lots of free ice for everyone.
No, the final chapter of The Dream. They were out of tests. I'd been examined, given portions, and shot through a machine like some Hawthorne-based sausage. When I began to fear that my usefulness had expired, and with it, their hospitality, they began all in unison to move rhythmically, celebrating, I felt, in dance. I almost remember the sound of their wonderful, joy-filled music. Maybe it sounded a little like this. Surgery, calling
psychiatry. Are we running out of coffee, or are we running out of time? <laughs> Two people would share workflow before they'd share love in People That Work Together. We simply hadn't seen anything like it before. It's something really very special, and that's rare, and it's special, and it's really very rare. The Roderick Cushing Classic, People That Work Together. Streaming now on Bungle Pictures. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. Training course completed.
inspector now arriving at the hospital. I walk the next day feeling much better. Isn't that strange? I guess it just goes to show that dreams can be powerful, surreal, even medicinal things. If only I could explain that bracelet I woke up with. Oh well, for another day I suppose.
Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Good day. You're listening to Two Point Radio, and I am Sir Nigel Bickleworth. Today's show is going to be why well, I, I I can't think of the word positively enormous, gargantuan, really. Ah, yes, jumbo. Patience. Thank you. 
In the news today, CEO of Jumbo Megacorp, Jumbo McNally, addressed a report from the two-point squabbler that accused Mr. McNally of tax fraud, saying, I actually pay more taxes than I have to. The reporters should be ashamed of themselves and are liars. I'm sure you're all as relieved as I am to have the situation clarified. For this edition of my Guide to Good Manners, we're looking at how to gracefully navigate customer service. Where better to turn than to Jumbo's customer guide? If you haven't paid for our extended warranty, you shouldn't have broken your Jumbo product. So, uh, yes. There you have it.
collected. Yeah. 
feeling lightheaded? Please help. Not yourself? Please. Emitting light? What? Ah! Ooh, thanks. Get checked at your local hospital today. This is Two Point Radio. This is Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Aren't opinions fabulous? Mine certainly are. I'm often taken aback by the overwhelming quality of my own opinions. Why don't you get in touch with some of your opinions? Required a GP 
We turn to an opinion from one of you. Mrs. A. Listener says, The only thing I like as much as your show, Nigel, a lady of taste, I see, are all of my jumbo products because they're all just so great. Goodness, really just marvelous. Any negative reviews online must be fake because I don't see how anyone could think otherwise. Well, the people seem to have spoken, don't they? That's all for today. Thank you for joining us here at Two Point Radio. Today's show was sponsored by Jumbo Megacorp.
Jasmine Odyssey is back with a number one album. Salivation includes the hit singles on the 84th floor. And the Lord can move more if you were on the 84th floor. And when we're together and no one else is there. When we're together. Green Jasmine Odd.
listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. The moment you've been waiting for is finally here. That's right, Ricky Hawthorne here with hours upon hours of chat, music, and miscellaneous filler. Stick around. I've decided it's time to give something back to this wonderful profession. I'm creating a radio internship so I can pass on all my knowledge and experience to a new generation. So if you have a passion for music, talking and jockeying discs, send in an application. You too could be playing songs like this one. Training course completed. Maintenance needed. Insert 
Receiving over four applications to the two-point radio internship position, we now have a winner. Kirby Players stood head and shoulders above everyone else. Well, he is six foot ten. Wish him good luck. He'll be starting right after this song.
This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Time for the news. Eyes for you. The popular hog sport opticians was burgled last night. Thieves made off with all the charts used for testing. So, if you see anyone carrying a poster full of letters around the town, see if you can make out the fourth line down. That's a tricky one. Always count on Mayor Tabitha Winsock to be out and about this fine county of ours. This very morning, she was seen visiting a local hospital. Well, if a visit from the mayor doesn't cure you, I don't know what will.
Collect, trade, and snack with Morsel Men. Awesome. Who will you find? Little Susie Salt. <laughs> Fake and Dad. Whoa. The Reverend Cheddar. Can I get an amen? Amen. Morsel Men. A handful of flavor. A mouthful of fun. More Two Point. More often. This is Two Point Radio. <laughs>
That was the wrong song. I'm afraid young Kirby, my new intern, hasn't quite grasped what each button does. And this coffee doesn't taste right. Wait, I think I can smell something burning. We'll be right back. And now, a word from our sponsors, Palpitation, the premier energy drink. If you're having trouble sleeping, one quick swig will make you so relaxed, people will think you're oh. dead. Oh. Wait, this isn't the right copy. This is for drowsy drink. I think I'll go and have a word with young Kirby while you listen to this.
best. You've heard of hospital staff being snored under. Well, after reports of an avalanche up in the Pointy Mountains, the patients, the beds, and the building itself could be under snow too. So, if you have a spare shovel, why not try to dig them out? Oh. 
I'm very happy to say young Kirby has graduated from Two Point Radio's first ever internship program and has gone on to better things. In other news, the internship program has been cancelled until further notice, which means I can concentrate on my ever faithful listeners. This record is dedicated to all of you. Celebrity visiting the hospital. If you're looking for a product with which to clean your hair, we at Jester would like to ask that you consider our shampoo. Yeah, all right. Just a shampoo. It'll clean your hair, but it won't change your life. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio.
You've taken your medication because it's time for the Harrison Wolf Show here on Two Point Radio, and it's gonna be a wild ride. Thank you. 
Two Point County is just so damn normal. We're ruled by gray suits sitting in corporate offices, building up the Tower of Capitalism. Well, it's time for action. They want you to go out there and do something subversive. Be a rebel. Then call in and tell us all about it. Maple is one of the many rebels, pranksters, and anarchists who's called in to tell us about their subversive acts. She spray-painted courgettes all over the front of a fast food joint. Well done, Maple. This next track's for you.
Point Radio. Maple is one of the many rebels, pranksters, and anarchists who's called in to tell us about their subversive acts. She spray painted courgettes all over the front of a fast food joint. Well done, Maple. This next track's for you.
Your salt level's dangerously low. Eat some briny brittle. The taste of the sea right in your mouth. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. Make sense needed in the 
Sonny just called in to tell us about her subversive act of the day. She went into one of those swanky pelican wolf bars and switched all the fancy drinks for cans of burp. Keep up the anarchy, people. us from Blyton earlier, where he changed his sign that said, buy Swindle's premium insurance to don't buy Swindle's premium insurance. That subtle work, Phil, I like it. More subversion after this. Thank you. 